For today's challenge, we only get to draft one game of each size of box. Boo! Who will make the best collection? <laughs> What's up everybody, my name is Nick. I'm Mike. We are the Bros Murph. Today's challenge, we are gonna be drafting one of each of the general box sizes. So tiny little card games, big mega deluxe games. There are a couple different size games that a lot of games tend to come in. Games tend to fall into certain categories of sizes. We wanted to have a, a kind of an exploration of those different size games and which ones we would choose if we could only choose one or two for a couple categories Indeed. of those games. Indeed, so make sure to subscribe if you like this kind of challenge content. We really, really enjoy doing it. But let's go ahead and talk about the different box sizes that we're going to be draft drafting. <laughs> so first up is going to be kind of things that don't fit into a standard size. That could be something like a button shy wallet game or a tin, something that's not really a box at all. Next, it's going to be small box card games, very small. Like this is a very standard small box card game. You can only hold like one deck of cards. Something like this is going to be our next one. Next up is gonna be the card game size box plus. So it's a little bit bigger. Usually these are gonna be mostly card games and stuff still, but they might have a little bit more going on. Then after that, we're gonna do the classic square, the Seven Wonders Dual Square. We'll also throw something like this kind of small rectangle. These kinds of size boxes tend to be really, really good games. These are gonna be next. Next up, we continue in our squares. These ones are gonna be a little bit bigger, sometimes a little bit thicker, a little bit more game going on. Next up, we're gonna draft the Ticket to Ride size box. This is the classic board game square box. So of course we have Ticket to Ride right here. We are actually gonna draft two of these games because so many of our games come in this size, we figured we have to draft two. The other most classic board game shaped box is this kind of Euro game rectangle. So it's a little bit uh, kind of like the square just stretched out. These ones, there's a lot of these. We're gonna do two of them too. Next up, we're gonna do the big rectangle. Now this could be a big, like thick rectangle like Caverna. It could be like a Lacerda game, like that just dropped, like Weather Machine here. Or it could even be something like Lost Ruins of Arnok. There's a lot in this kind of like giant rectangle category. The last thing we're gonna go for is, could only be really referred to as like a big house, just a big box. It might be a collector's edition. It might be a deluxe edition. It might just be something that's unruly and large in general. All righty, we're here. We're starting. I'm already stressed because first? I'm already pre-thinking of stuff I know, that I'm I don't already... want you to think of. So I'm trying to put it into like the don't think about this. I'm don't stressed out here. about every single category, every yeah. single box size. I'm because I'm like, ooh, this would be good. Ooh, this would be good. Oh, I can only choose one of these. That's gonna I be know. rough. So it's gonna be 11 games total. Total. So who goes first? Let's rock paper scissors. Okay. All right, I don't know how we're gonna do this on the terms of okay, thing. Well, I'll come over here. All right, okay. <laughs> I'll come over here. All right. Oh wait, sorry. Well, my, rock paper scissors what? shoot. Well, right, right, okay, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, rock paper scissors shoot. Rock paper scissors shoot. Rock paper scissors shoot. I got you. Yeah, baby. I was trying to get locked into eight in a row, but that's fine. <laughs> so the first category is gonna be small, weirdly shaped games. Things that aren't boxes or, or standard. Yeah, they're just kind of not standard. Not even the small box card game right. size. Okay, so this one's that. So our small games are all like here and like there. Yeah, we're living on the, on the medians for we're a minute. Only getting on that one side. of these. One non-standard, whatever that means to you. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with one of my favorite. I'm gonna go bag of chips. I already knew that was gone. This is a bag of chips. I love it. It's a great push your luck game where you're trying to kind of fulfill like, I guess contracts or orders or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, it's sort of, But yeah. it's just pure push your luck. It has no it's right just, being as fun as it is. It's a speculation game. You're oh, speculating it's so good. what chips are gonna come out of the bag. And it and comes the, in a bag. And the bag is essential to the gameplay as it well. It is, because so you're pulling also, things out of the bag. So it really worked. Love bag of chips. All right, so I'm gonna go over to this side too. And I think one that I forgot about I just saw down here a second ago, a little sleeper. I'm going freaking chicken. Oh. <laughs> I just love it. It's a little tube. You roll the dice out of the tube if you want. So again, kind of a functional uh, package. This is pretty great. I was also thinking of something like a mint delivery. Yeah, um, tin, little tin games are great. Little tin game, but I'm gonna stick, I'm gonna go chicken. Okay. I'm gonna go chicken. I think that's fair. It's just a fun shape. Chicken is a fun shape. And it is also, we both put, picked uh, fun kind of uh, push your luck games, yeah. which is uh, very, very nice. Okay, so it's gonna be my pick first yeah, on this we'll, side. Yeah, we'll alternate who gets to go first on yeah. the picks. And I think what we should do is is the tiny card box. Yes. Okay, so this is just gonna house this small little card game. There's not really room for anything else. We'll do kind no. of a bigger card box I size. mean, I guess if there is a tile game that's that small, you sure, should, sure. but like, I, like think, I would say probably like Deep Sea Adventure would fall into that. Sure, Yeah. Right. but it'll game. probably be card games, right? Yeah, so these will typically fall into pure card game. Ooh, Man, ooh. 
Ooh, they're almost, they're mostly over there. This, the, every single one of these is gonna be a brutal choice. Because you get one, with the exception of the ticket to ride size box <laughs> and, the, and the classic uh, rectangle, we're only getting one each. So there's, we probably have a couple dozen of these games, you know? Yeah. What are you choosing? Okay, man, go with me here. I'm gonna go with a little bit of a cheat. I'm gonna go with a little bit of a cheat. I'm gonna go Fox in the Forest. I thought that was the other next size is up. Is this the next size up? I think that's the next size up. What? So cho choose that. This is like, this is like my hand. Claim oh. or something like that, or Nana, that size. Ooh, I'm going Claim, I think. Claim is down there then. Where? Underneath Village Rails. Where? Yeah, you're right. All right, I'm gonna take one Claim box. We have like a bunch. Yeah. Actually, they're all rubber banded together. I'm taking them all. Take them all, that's fair, that's fair. No Claim. I will say, if there's expansions and stuff with it, like say you're getting Orleans, I think you also take Orleans Invasion. Ooh, man, that's that's. Let's just count that, because it was an expansion box, that's the same, we'll just go with it. A whole bunch of Claim two-player trick-taking card game with different factions and stuff. The expansions provide more factions and things like locations, so basically like rules like that break the game, you know, stuff. So two-player trick-taking, hard to beat. Yeah. I showed my hand about. I probably would have gone Claim. Well, are you gonna pick another two-player trick-taking game? No, probably next not. One? Not now. This is, ah, there's not, we don't have that, that many games that I would consider to be this size. Let me switch the here. Sure. I, I, it's hard for me not to just pick Nana because it's just so wide, widely I figured you might. Love. So. But also like. I almost thought about Spite Draft. I was like, you like Bandito. I constantly talk about how much I love Bandito. And that's a teeny tiny little card game. But I think I'm gonna go Nana because Nana is just like, this has become like our absolute evangelism game. It's also called Trio. Essentially gamers go fish. It just goes over, I just played at Dice Tower West. It goes over so dang well. It's hard to We've gotten that. so many people to buy it. It's so good. I just gotta go Nana for the small box card game. I dig. Boom. I like Nana. it. Nana. Okay, so now is gonna be the bigger card game box. It's something like a Fox in the Forest, Point City, that size box. Um, Man, there's a lot. I would of say stuff. there's a lot in this category. This um, is this is a sort of general. I mean, like something like an inside job. I mean, there's yeah. a lot of there's a lot of stuff that's in this general yes. area of size. Even like a Black Sonata, I would say is in that size, yeah. and that's like a full out board game. So it's like there's a lot of stuff in this area. Well, you got first pick, man. So what I do you do. think from this? Okay, area? so I have what I have. I have bag of chips. I have a party game, and then kind of another party game in Nana. So I don't feel like I need to take like say like a green team wins like another big party game. Sure. Um, I feel like I could take kind of something a little more proper, but, ooh. I had an idea and now I forgot my idea. I am thinking about taking Black Sonata because yeah. he's keeping on, we're trying to draft the best collection, right? So you want and a wide having a variety good of experiences. solo game. You know, I'm gonna go Black Sonata, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. This is a great solo game. A solo, solo deduction game. Solo deduction hidden movement game. Yes. Where you are trying to find the inspiration for um, Shakespeare's sonnets, the kind of mysterious woman who was the uh, inspiration for the sonnets. You're trying to find her across London. It's super, super fun. It's super good. I really, really love this game. Um, and it's in, I play this on planes a lot. It's small and stuff like that, but man, it, need a good solo game you in the collection. just got the expansion for it. We did indeed. Shout out to Steve. So I'm going to go boom. Black Sonata, great solo game. I think you do need a good solo game in your collection, so I'm going with Black Sonata for my kind of slightly bigger card box size. The science is not, no. It's not a perfect science. It's not, precise. You know, it's not a perfect science. It's not precise. What are you thinking? Uh, I think I'm gonna go with this direction, man. So I've got like a little bit of a party vibe. I've got a two player game. I don't wanna overload with two player games. I'm gonna go My City Rolling Mills. Oh, a legacy game. It is a uh, a campaign, Roll and Write, That's based on My City, which is a proper legacy game. This is one that takes you through a campaign similar to My City, but you can of course play it because it's just sheets and stuff and you're rolling That dice. is an interesting choice. Gives me some big game vibes. Yeah, yeah. And it's a little Roll and Write, plays Ooh. up to five, sorry, up to six. So, I mean, I can cover a lot, and it's in the German, six? but uh, up to wow. six players. Man. That's, that's a good choice. I think My that's a low-key, a great choice. The roll and build, baby. Let's go. Wow. Okay. Okay. We're, round, we're rounding this thing out. We're rounding this thing out. Okay. That's three of them. So Ooh. the next one is going to be your classic square, your small the square small box. small square. And you're up first. Okay, so small square. So that would be something like a Seven Wonders Duel. Again, we have kind of, we're going from, we're going to small square, medium, then large square I would also here. consider something like, like say like the Bloody Inn, it's technically a rectangle, but that's a, of, a, of the same size Agreed. kind of thing. Oh, oh man. man, there's there's a decent amount in this. Uh, there is, we get into some pain here too. The next category is where we're gonna be getting into some real pain. Yeah, okay, go with me here, man. 
I'm making a quick snap decision. I'm going with a new love hooky. No, I was going to pick hooky. New Crap. love hooky, baby. Damn it. I was going to pick hooky. No. I need this for my collection because I'm so freaking bad at it. I'm so to, I never thought in a million <laughs> years. I was like, my skin picks all like seven more dual and I'm going to snap it. What am I play it with? I don't know. Someone else. No. This is a collect. Oh, I'm super bummed out. I'm Hucky really baby. bummed out about that. This, I'm legit bummed. This is a deduction game. This is competitive Wordle, the board game. I'm so pissed. Where you are trying to find which three letters out of the 26 uh, from the alphabet are not present, and you're doing this by asking five letter words of your opponents to see how many matches it makes with the cards they have. Hooky, a sleeper hit. We just got it. Shouts out to Foster the Meeple. You yes, should subscribe indeed. to them because Jeff they showed us the Nick who showed us to me. Boom. Dang. Sorry to steal, man. I never thought in a million years Mike was going to take Hooky. That sucks. Dang, that sucks. Okay. <laughs> um, shoot. I hadn't even thought about anything else because that's what I was going to choose. Oh, man. We got... You get Mini Azul. We got like... Oh. Raj has got the dice games. Great. I don't have a roll and write. That's a good pick. Oh man, I just realized that with my choice of hooky, I'm probably gonna make a different choice for the next size up square, and it hurts my heart a little bit, but we're gonna okay, make it through. Okay, okay. I think, you know what I'm gonna take? You going this way? Yeah, I think we'll go this way. I might, oh, I wanted hooky. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> oh, that ruined my life. We got him. I think I'm gonna take Caper Europe. Oh, that's a good I don't pick. have a two-player game yet. I freaking love Caper that Europe. That is a good choice. This is a great heist game, two-player game, where you're basically trying to steal stuff from a couple different cities around Europe. It's, it's a little bit so of a tug-of-war game. A little tug-of-war game. Great production quality. Um, it's just, it's, it's very, choice. very fun. Keymaster really crushed it. I liked it. It was my second choice. I'm not going to lie. Um, no no great, shade, Keymaster, but it was my second drafting. choice. Great card drafting. Great card drafting. Oh, I am legit so bummed out. <laughs> That you grabbed hooky. I never thought in a million years you grab it. Okay, so now the next size up, we're going bigger square. So this could be like the whole West Kingdom trilogy, yeah. things like Turing Machine, not quite to like Ticket to Ride size box. It's Ticket to Ride Junior. Ticket to Ride Junior. This is tough. There are, it's at this point, a lot of games in this category. Again, a lot of Garfield games are in this category, like a ton of them. Yeah. But there's also stuff like Turing Machine. There is stuff like. It's a Wonderful World is really hard for me not to take considering I freaking love that game. We just played it. It's so good. There's so many in this category and we only get one and that's tough. That's some tough life right there. It is, man. Okay, so I got a solo game. I have a two player game, a couple like party-ish games. Okay, I think now we're kind of into full just game games. Man, if I don't take a Garfield game, I feel like the, the comments are gonna lose their minds. That is a good point. But You're I a little... don't know if I'm gonna. No offense, if, Shem If and you Sam. don't, I might, man. If you don't, I might. Because there's like Calico, Verdant, like Cascadia, like so much there's falls into this thing, but you know what, so I'm gonna much. go. Honey Buzz, man. I'm going to Wonderful World. Ooh, that's I'm going pushing, to Wonderful World. That's pushing the limits of the junior, but it Do you, is... you think this is too big? It's smaller, smaller. Is it too big? It like, looks? what's it? Oh, you know what? No, that's the same. I would say that's the bigger one. Okay, then I'm not going that then. Ooh, maybe, but maybe next one. Maybe next one. Okay, yeah, I, I, I thought it was smaller. ride size, we get two picks. Yeah, so. okay, I'll, I'll hold that one off then. Okay, I'll hold that one off. Now you probably, well, at the same time though, I don't know if I'll pick that next round. We had to get the official judge out for that one. It, it, it looks smaller it's than it large, is. It looks smaller yeah. than, it, than it is. Uh, oh, that's what I was going to choose for my square. I wish I chose something different. Dude, I'm bummed I didn't choose the crew, if I'm honest. I'm Ooh. Little, I've, I've... Sorry, this one is tough. I am, I am struggling over here. Well. I feel like I got to pick a... Garfield. I'm going by counts. I'm going yeah. by counts. Dang it. You get both expansions with that. Yeah. I'm going by counts. Because it's just so dang good. Of the West Kingdom games, this one's my favorite at this point. It's a lucky thing that we haven't gotten the bigger box. I know, right? Yet, we still got these ones. Have we haven't them. gotten the big box ones. We can't fit any of our expansions in, but for this no, we purpose sure can't. of this draft, it was nice that we have the smaller box size. I am happy we have this. Um, I love Viscounts. This is a cool Man. Rondell game that's so good. I like it the most of the West Kingdom games at this point. Um, and none of the South Tigris games are in this size box, which no, is great. They've moved <laughs> so up. I'm picking Viscounts. It's my favorite of the West Kingdom games. Good yeah, call. I'm going with this. I'm going with this. Big proper game at that point. Definitely. Okay. I don't want to be a copycat. Mike's going to copy it. But 
I don't have a solo game yet. Ooh. Oh, I know what you're going to do. And I think I'm going to go Legacy of You. Yeah, I thought about it because I already had a solo, though. So Garfield, the ancient anthology series, yeah. is always in this box size. Yeah. So I was like, Ezra and Maya, which is good. Oh, yeah. It's also a big old game right there. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with this soloable. Solo only. Campaign. Resettable campaign. You got two campaign games I'm now. I'm bang for my buck, man. I'm trying to be like, I got lots of gameplay within each game. That's fair. That's fair. You know? That's just where I'm at right now. It's tough, man. Yeah, that that category was, was rough. All I right. mean. You want to talk tough? We are now to the classic board game yeah. square. The Ticket to Ride box. If Monopoly Rectangle is the OG classic board game shape size box, the Ticket to Ride Square is the modern equivalent. Yeah. It is still what I think of when I think board game, I think of that square. And we are gonna, because it's just impossible. It's, yeah, there's We're like, gonna get two picks from this size each. Yeah. Two picks from this size. Yeah, and then the next size we're gonna get two picks, because that's like the vast majority of our games come in these two box sizes. So like yeah. we kinda gotta go two. To make it fair, no, we'll keep it the way. We'll go back we, and forth. We can snake draft it, but we'll go back and forth. No, we'll go back and forth, yeah. There's so many options here. I think I'm, oh my gosh, I don't even know. I'm gonna go, Oh, that's my pick. No, it's not. It yeah, you last? I just chose a game right now. Oh crap, you are, it's your pick. I don't, think you're, gonna, I don't think you're gonna choose what I was about to choose, so I think it's fine. Ugh, there's so many where choices where do you go here. with it? There's so many. So many. How do I deny a space base, you know what I mean? How do I, how do I possibly? Yeah. <sighs> Trying to piss off John DeClaire, you know how Trying to think of a rounded, how yes. do you round out the collection? Like, I just picked a pretty heavy game. So I think you could go lighter with you could. this. You could. But also, it's my collection, so yeah. Why? Um, okay, let's, let's just, oh, oh, oh. I know it's kind of cheeky, but I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go with some Great Western Trail New Zealand. I thought about grabbing one of those. You know, it's like you could really take any of the Great Western Trails. Yeah. We're going with the Great Western Trailiest of them all, meaning there's the most content. <laughs> yeah, the most stuff Most in it. replayability here because of all of the cards that you swap out from game to game and stuff yeah. like that. So hard to beat. You get all the Great Western Trail love uh, from any of them. I'm going New Zealand. Brightest, shiniest, call me Cult of the New, whatever. I don't care. Right. It is bright and shiny, but it's great. Um, okay, so... I think I'm gonna go with my current obsession just because it's on my mind. I'm gonna go with Kuna Aura. Yeah, I thought you might. Kuna Aura I is. You might. I'm really into this game right now. I just cannot get enough of it. I think it's so much fun. It's just such a cool, interesting economic game that I just think I've played it a whole bunch recently, uh, and I'm just not getting tired of it. I think it plays all great, all player counts. I think it's great. Kuna Aura is what I'm choosing right now. I still have one more in this size, but it's kind of rough. But nonetheless, I'm choosing Kuna Aura. I'm super into it right now. So I'm going cult of what I'm into right now. That's all we got, man. All we got is the moment, you know? That's all we got is the moment. Okay, let's think. What's next, sir? This is gonna be the so, tough one, because now you're like, all right, now I have to make a, a final choice. Final choice from the size. I'm trying to think of a reason to talk myself out of it. I don't think I have it. So I am going to go with Teotihuacan, man. Oh, yeah. I, I kind of hunch, had a First hunch of all, go with that. It's got all expansions. Look at, look at the serious, look at the lip on that bad boy. Yeah, it does not fit at all. I know, it sure does. Teotihuacan is a former number one. Honestly, it could be number one right now. It's such a great game. Yeah. All time game. Yeah. Um, I had to leave some other stuff behind by taking this, but that's the name of the game, man. That's I think that's fair. That's I the think draft that's fair. for you. I kind of, I kind of figured you would take that one. Yeah. Oh man, there's so many. It's there's a so many this size. It's a heartbreaker. One Lands War is technically a square. Just saying. Now that, I think that would go under the big deluxe category. <laughs> what I got? Okay, so I have two. So one thing I don't have is I don't have a co-op game. Oh, that's and interesting. And I don't know if I should, like, make sure I have one or if that's one that I could well kind of go away. Because I, I'm not going to lie. I want to take the loop. But it's like, man, for, the, for this size box, am I really going to give up on, like, every board and dice game? Yep. So would, many things. That would be a decision you'd have to make there. You know? And, like, I don't know if I am... 
ah, willing to do that. I still want It's a Wonderful World, although I don't know if I'm going to take it now. I think I would have taken the other one. But right now, oh, man. Okay, so is there anything? So we got like a big economic game, big Rondell game. Yeah. You're gonna go with the Destiny's expansion. You I took too long, so here you go. Nah, I thought yeah, about I thought we going like Destiny's because I don't have any kind of campaign game. But at the same time, like at least personally for me, I'm just I'm not really all that into campaign games. No, it's not a factor. for You know you what really. I might take just because it just it feels so different. It doesn't feel like any other game. I'm gonna take Obsession. Oh, that's a good pick. I'm gonna take Obsession. I Man. really really like this game. It just feels. I just played that again on BGA. It's great. It feels so different. It just doesn't feel like any other game. You're kind of like fancy people in England, put on fancy parties, trying to make your make it seem like your family isn't you're bringing trash your, poor people anymore. Yeah, you're you bringing know? your family back to the the limelight. It just it just it's a very unique game. It feels different. It just hits different. It's heavy as all hell. Um, yeah, I just I really like it. I really enjoy it. And so I think this is a good kind of big beefer. I do respect that choice. Okay, so the next category we have is another one where we get to draft two games from. This is the what we would call the classic board game rectangle. So if I talk about Ticket to Ride is like the, what I think of board games, the other size I think of what I think of board games is like the Castles of Burgundy rectangle. It is uh, you know a medium sized box, a little longer than it is wide or wider than it is long, depending on the text and stuff. Yeah, so the Nick, castle of the Burgundy one. You're yeah. gonna get the first pick from this. We're again, we're gonna choose two, two of these. from this category. There is really some tough decisions to make here. There are some tough ones, but I'm gonna go co-op. I'm gonna go deduction since you took hookie. Ooh. I'm going paint the roses. Paint the roses is. I'm really curious where it's gonna end my top hundred because yeah. I've thought this is gonna be really high. This is a co-op deduction game where you are trying to make the Red Queen's, uh, the Queen of Hearts uh, garden how she wants it. But you can't really talk to each other about what you have. It's so good. It just goes over so well with so many people. It's pretty easy to get to the table. I freaking love this game. Yeah, yeah. I'm going this one since Mike took hooky. I feel like I need a deduction and I need a co-op. So we well out here. Picked. Well picked, man. Um, okay. So, for fear of not having it in my life, I think my first rectangle is gonna be the Grand Austria Hotel. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Hard to beat, such a good game, such a classic Euro, perfect for this shape box. Yeah. Have to go with it. I don't want to risk it going to the second pick and having it not yeah, be there. I, was, I would've taken it if it I'm was still gotta there. Go. I would've taken it if it was still there. Gotta go Grand Austria Hotel. Dang it, okay, I was probably gonna go with that for my second pick. I do have one of my favorite games ever, The Prodigals Club. Yeah, I figured you might be high on that one. Boon Lake also is like a very strong contender. Yeah. For like a big games, Last Will is great. Crown of Amara, Castle of Tuscany. I mean, there's yep. there's a lot of um, Euro game this. central out here. Yeah, and that this is like to me, the like, screams Euro game is like, yeah. oh, but Lahav? Dang, I forgot about Lahav. Oh, do I do Lahav? <laughs> or do I do Clans of Caledonia? Honestly, whatever you don't pick, I'm probably choosing the other one. So. <laughs> Crap. Yeah, that's. Or do I take Ginkopolis and just spite Mike, you know? That was, yeah, don't. See, remember at the beginning of the video, I said I'm putting some stuff in the air for you not to think about? That yeah. That was one of them. That Nick. was one of them. I think, I think I'm going to go Clans of Caledonia. It's just so good. Every single time, it just hits so good. I don't know. I honestly couldn't even tell you what I love about it. There's just something about this game that just hits it's just, different. It's, and it's so good. I'm excited about whatever the heck this new expansion is going to be. Industria, man. I'm yeah. very excited. Clans of Caledonia, that's what I'm choosing. It's good. Mike, I'm going to rearrange our things over here. I'm going to put them in a big old pile. Do it, man. We're going to get harder point. to see. Okay, so now I'm torn because you mentioned Le Havre. Yep. I, to this point, I don't think I have an Uwe, right? I don't have an Uwe no. Rosenberg game, which is insane. Granted, the next size we have will give me ample opportunity to choose an, uh, an Uwe. <laughs> yeah, to say but the least. But Lahav is a banger, dude, right? But Ginkopolis, man, it does so much good in such a short period of time. Sweet. And it is a game that truly is one to five player. And from one to five player, it's great and is still 45 minutes. It's quick at all player counts. 
Ginkgo you pelvis. You have been waxing poetic about this one for a while. It's got card drafting, area control, it was your city two. building, tile laying, engine building. It's going home with me, baby. Yeah, Let's go. Elegance personified is Man. what that game is. Okay, right. so that is the two. That was two, right, of the rectangles? That was two, man. Okay, so now we're going to big rectangle, thick boy rectangle. So this could be thick like boys. really deep. This could be really big, like a Lacerda game. This could be a scythe. Something like a scythe, a War of the Ring, a Lost Wings of Arnok. This one's also tough because there's a lot of our favorite of like, and we only this get one size box is this. like, we get one. Oh, that's a problem. I thought about doing two, but I was like, no, let's make it hard. Let's do one. So it's you. What are you choosing? You go in Lacerda. You go. In, you gonna. You gonna abandon your feast for Odin. I don't like it. <laughs> this one's tough. This one's tough. <sighs> Lacerda and Uve. Yep. In the same. Yeah. This moments. one's kind of tough because there's a lot of these different kinds of like big rectangle boxes. And I don't know if we have enough to do like only like the Lacerda game type box. So we're just like, I ah, will throw it in one, one big category. It's also like Ark Nova is in there. Ooh, Lost Ruins. The thing is, Ooh. I just didn't pick an Uve with the thought I know. of like, well, I can always go for any of these games. Yeah, it's true. On the same boat where I'm like, ooh, I probably should pick an Uve because I don't have an also, Uve. Also, Kanban EV. It's true. Ugh. Eeny meeny miny mo, get your tiger by the tail, if you hold that and go, eeny meeny miny mo. My body tell me to pick the very best. <laughs> um, making the best collection, you know. Okay, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know, as a true, pick your favorite, try to make the best collection. Okay. Both our collections are pretty I, well rounded. I, I don't know if I have the most rounded collection, but I love it though. <laughs> <sighs> okay. It's Kanban, baby. I knew, it. I knew Mike was gonna abandon his ways. I hate myself. Abandon his favorite games. I'm curious where Kanban is gonna end up with Mike's 100. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be up there, bro. It's gonna be up there, y'all. It. Look forward to that top 100 in May. I, I, <laughs> I, I'm very curious where that's going to end up for Mikey. I'm not myself, but like I've got feelings. You know what I mean? I'm tough. I don't think I'm going to go Lacerda because if I was going to go one, it would have been Kanban EV. Once I see this game stacked up, though. Whew, what a yeah, great collection. Yeah, it's a pretty hot collection. What a great collection. So where I'm stuck is I also oh, don't have an Uve. Age of Innovation as well. I know. like Age of Innovation is a banger. Terra Miska is up there. Man. I mean... So my thing is question, do I go Uve? Yes. Or do I go Arc Nova? And that's where I'm stuck. Because Arc Nova is that kind of Lacerda box size, and I got the expansion. Freaking in there. love Arc Nova, but man, Feast with the Norwegians, you're not gonna go I, that. I know. I mean, for me, it's like Feast. I love Fuels of Arl. That's another two-player game, so I probably wouldn't do that. Man, I don't know. I'm really stuck between Arc Nova and Feast for Odin. I think both are really, really outstanding. Man, I think for me, I'm really conflicted about what I did. <laughs> I was, I'm, I've got feelings about it. Like, okay, let me see. What I is there any any way any inkling towards either way? Not really. They're both just big giant competitive games. There's there's yeah. But you know what I don't have? What? Any kind of tile laying. So Ooh. I'm gonna go feast for Odin for that reason. Polyomino goodness. Just because it's got a bit of, I mean, this between this and Ark Nova is oh, so it's so dense. <laughs> you can so kill somebody thick. with that. Feast for Odin. It's a giant sandbox. It's one of my favorite games. I love it so 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 much. Yeah. Oh man, but it's that's tough. That Good is tough. And, wow, that's a B yeah, for that. I don't regret my decision. Of course not. It's just I want it all. Yeah. How okay. are you not gonna? By the way, can we talk about it? Can we talk about regret? What? How? In a world where you have big, thick, rectangle boxes, you don't go War of the Ring. Because I don't necessarily think that's, ne that's good for a 10-game collection. Maybe I don't. I honestly don't. I think it's, I think it's good for bigger collections. <laughs> right. Unless you're going to play it a lot. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That was tough. That was tough. Okay, so now last one, last right? One. We have 10. 
They one, two, 10. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now it is like the deluxe editions, the collector's editions. There's like a super size. Box. There's like the freaking Anachrony Infinity Box, I'm Tidal Blades, that. Suburbia Collector's Edition. There's a carry on collector's edition. These there's... kinds of like big deluxe collector's edition, whatever, LeGrand Ha. Uh, yep. Uh, how do you not go LeGrand Ha? But is it me? It's you, man. I feel like got an off the wall choice, maybe because it's. Got maybe re, an off the I wall think choice. it would round out oh, my world. I really feel like I should pick Wonderland's War because yeah, it rounds out the collection well. But that would be two Alice in Wonderland games, which doesn't matter. But I mean, you're we're putting it to the people's vote ultimately. We're gonna have they, you decide. The who's people is better. freaking love Wonderland's War. This they is the oh, the deluxe edition, big thick boy. It's I'm gonna go Wonderland's nice, War. Man. It's so much fun. The production value is probably the best production value in any well, game. These days we'll paint it. Shouts out to Drew. Yeah, somebody I'll say Wiz if I'm gonna participate. But this at is all a that, but. a bag building kind of like Battle Quacks Quinley where it's so good. It's got the expansion. It's got the expansion, which is Teen Titans. So I, I do want to play madness. soon. I do too. I think I gotta go. I think the people would want me to. And of all the other big games, catering to the people. Not tons that I really am like, oh, I have to have this. So I'm gonna go with this one. I do think it rounds out a collection well. Okay. Ugh. So, Nick, I'm torn now, man. What are you torn between? I'm torn because do I do something like you and make an obvious appeal to the people? <laughs> do I oh, wow. go for votes? the shade? Or do I go for something off the wall that I think would be a great bit of variety to the collection? I, I, we're trying to pick the best collection. I think variety is good. Best collection. Okay, I see the Anachrony Infinity Box yeah. up there. That's a lot. I'm going to do one better. I'm going Fireball Island, baby. <laughs> the Curse of Car. Wow. I count oh, as a big never box. never in a million years thought you'd pick that one. We're going Fireball Island, man. You know what? Because for all the Euro game goodness I got going on, and I got a lot. You need some silly fun. Sometimes you just need to flick marbles at your friends. Wow. And I would never have picked family. the family. I thought you were going to pick Anachrony or Lagranha. Oh, believe me. I want that. And maybe when we leave the studio today, I'll steal a couple of those and take them with me. Indeed. But I think Fireball Island, in terms of variety, it's got presence. Yeah, it's fair. unique as all get out. I'm fair. going Fireball Island, man. All right. All right. Alrighty. Did that make me lose a challenge? Of course. <laughs> Did I win the hearts of some people? Maybe. Maybe. Depending. All right. And complete. Done. Right. That's the collections, folks. What do you think in the comments? Eleven of game these? collection. Pretty. I think it's pretty good. It. Both of ours probably skewed a little too heavy. But. Well, I mean, I mean, it's our collection, These are the right? games I want to like, play. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I mean, I do have... I messed around with this size game. I messed around with, like, taking, like, Dimension or something. Yeah, I think that would have been but then, good for in terms of variety. I mean, like, this is relatively light. Caper, Paint the Roses. These are obviously yeah. all light, so... I've got chicken and things. I've got some Mind Melters. Again, we're, we're pretty staunch Euro gamers, but I do also have Fireball Island, okay? That so I don't want to hear any smack that's talk. Fair. But it's up to you to decide. That's Who it. had the better collection? Whose of these would you like to play more? And if you, down in the comments, look through your collection, if you had to pick one game of each size, general size, put, it, put a top 11 in the chat because we are curious. I like this. I would play all these games many, many times. I, I love them. I'd play them all much. right now. These are great games, 100% of them. But that's it. Let us know how we did. Let us know any other challenge ideas you have. We have a couple uh, going around our head. We always love doing these kinds of challenges. Uh, and any other content creators out there that want to do these challenges, please do it. We'd love to see it. We think it's super fun. Looking at you, Jeff and Jamie Foster. Uh, you, as already always, know, you already know we're challenging you with this. Um, thank you all so much for being here. Please subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you later. Bye. Thank you so much for watching that board game challenge. We had a really good time with this one. Make sure to check out some other board game challenges on the right side of your screen there. And a big, big shout out to our channel sponsors, Restoration Games, Board Game Geek, and Garfield Games. Thank you so, so much for watching. We really appreciate it. And we hope you have an absolutely wonderful gosh darn day.